This lumber distribution center in the St. Boniface Industrial Park is well stocked, and businesses hope it'll stay this way now that the federal labor minister has imposed binding arbitration and extended collective agreements between CN Rail and CPKC and their employees. Canada's two main railways locked out more than 9,000 workers. Joel Hartung owns the Lumber Zone, which has three locations in Manitoba. He was worried about the impact. Lumber is one thing that is shipped a lot by rail. Uh, shingles, uh, rebar, uh, tubs and showers, and then uh, flooring is another one. Liz Kovach is with the Western Retail Lumber Association, which represents retailers, manufacturers, and distributors. She says contingency plans were being put in place before the work stoppage. So distributors were already starting to look at how other ways for them to bring products up to Canada through the U.S. It will create some delays, but at least we're going to be able to get some of those products. Chuck Davidson with the Manitoba Chambers of Commerce says it was important for the federal government to get involved early. It's not as simple as putting it on a plane or putting it on a truck. That's not an option. The options for a lot of businesses right now are zero. The only option that they have is we need to get those, those trains running again. Farmers were concerned they wouldn't be able to get their crops to market on the railway and fertilizer companies say some shipments stopped in the lead up to the lockout. We start to see these bottlenecks now within the system that can affect the timing for fertilizer being available for the fall season. Manitoba Premier Wab Canoe contacted the federal government with concern about the impact. When we look at our provincial economy, agriculture is the backbone directly, but also the value-added manufacturing sector. It's unclear exactly when trains will start rolling again, but Ottawa wants operations to resume as quickly as possible. Josh Crabb, CBC News, Winnipeg.